so from the previous tutorial, we have been able to prepare the distribution map of lab result. The procedure to create map layout. So on this final part, we are going to be creating um, uh, these maps we have here on a single um, layout. So all of these three maps, we're going to put them on a single layout. All right, so without any further ado, let's go into this part. So basically, um, we have one data frame, which is this one we're using. We can actually change it, but that's not a problem right now. What we need to do is um, we're going to adjust this. I actually did adjust it before I start the video, so we're going to adjust it so that it can accommodate three of this. All right. So we adjust it the way I think this will do. We're not taking in concentra consideration the scale. We're only going to um, make this a, we're going to make it a zoom to extend so that it can fill up the whole um, data view, the layout view, sorry. So next now what I'm going to do is um, I'll right click and copy this and uh, I'm also going to paste it. I'll just basically do control V. All right, so um, we have this two layout. And I'm going to do control V again. And we have uh, how many layout now? Three. All right, so let's reduce it so that it can, can face the whole of this. Okay, so let's reduce it so that it can face, can meet these three. And then let's reduce the last one to fit into this layout view. All right, we have this in three places. Um, okay, so I'm going to right click on this and full extent so it's going to be in a full extent so and then i'm going to do same here full extent and i'm going to do same with this let's reduce it so that it can be of the same size full extent all right, so. so let's go full extent. All right, so we have the um, data frame, which if you come here, you'll see them. But now, um, I'm going to remove this and remove this so that what will be appearing will be the mercury. So under this layout view, I'm going to remove the mercury. So what will be appearing will be the lead. So the mercury is what is showing here. So on the third layout frame, I'm going to remove mercury, I'm going to remove lead, leaving this. So we have the three of them showing concurrently here on this same layout view. So um, each of the layout view, you can click and uh, allow it to have um, so if I click on this, this is active. So I'll go to inside and let's say I pick my not arrow. So I'll pick this not arrow and then I'm going to just, since I have enough space up, I'm going to leave it up here. I go back and uh, I need to bring out um, legend. So the legend coming here will be for Mercury. So I'm just going to do this so let me remove this and make it a two 
fold of it so that it can be easier. So, still a legend. And then I'm going to make this two. And I'm going to go to next. Alright, let's next until we finish. So I'm going to put this under this. So I'm going to reduce it so that it will be here. So I'm going to do the same to this. And I'm going to go to Legend. Make it two. And then we proceed. So I'm going to reduce it so that it does not cover too much of places. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the last one. Still make it two. And uh, next. Finished. So I'm going to reduce it as I've done before. I'm going to put it so I'm going to also reduce this so that yeah, they could have a marching ground. Okay. Alright, so we have our legends of those three um of these three uh, distributions on one place. So we can also write their name on top of these three. So everything from here will be for this, yeah, it is like this, like this. So basically this is how you can basically put together um, a distribution map in, uh, in the same paper or we say the same layout. All right, so we could proceed to add title and then other information, scale bar and all that. Or if you check here, we only, our scale is scale one is to this. So we don't have a tangible scale we want to use in writing. So our advice, you don't even put the scale. All right, so basically this is the end of our video on part one, two, and three. So this has bring us to the end of this uh, training course on the interpolation. And I will see you in other previous, in other future videos. So keep tuning in and uh, don't go anywhere. Just watch Elijah's special.